Welcome back to episode 5 of Deep Woken Stereotypes. Today we'll be covering medium weapons, which is probably the most common weapon type you'll find people using in Deep Woken. Before we get started, I would like to say that uh, I'm currently aiming for 1,000 subscribers right now, so if you guys enjoy my videos and would like to subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate it if you do. Now with that said, let's get into the stereotypes. If you used this, then you probably had an enchanted version before the big alloy update came and boosted her prices like tenfold. This thing turned into the Shattered Katana but faster with more damage, with the only downside being lower penetration which barely affects your damage anyways. So you're probably thinking, if this sword is so good, then why don't I see everybody using this? That's because it's overshadowed by the Forgotten Gladius, which I'll cover later in the video of course. This weapon is a solid medium weapon choice but it just can't compete that well because of the current meta. Ah, the classic Shattered Katana. If you still use this after the Forgotten Gladius meta took over like a while ago, it means you're either one of two types of people. One is that you're just new and live under a rock and haven't heard about the big meta shift and just like see 100 medium weapon and that means like, oh, high requirement, that must mean this is the best weapon. Or the other option is that you traded for a Shattered Katana in gem back when it was the best thing in the game. And now you're just coping with the fact that you soul bounded it and can't trade it away for like a Forgotten Gladius in chat or something. Well, anyways, if you use this, you're probably a decently old school player that played before the swing speed nerf from 7.3 to I mean from 7.5 to 7.3, but now it's mostly associated with Azure Flame Royal Pathfinders. Because of the current swing speed meta, you know, like the fast swords with like 0.8 swing speed, the sword just cannot catch up with any of the other weapons and you'll be punished every time you try and swing. The reason that the Shattered is 0.73 and the Forgotten Gladius is 0.78 has such a big difference to it even though it's like 0.05 is because it crosses a very important threshold, that being the human reaction time combined with ping. The difference between the two swords is about 100 millisecond or 0.1 second. The Shattered Katana swing gives you about uh, 0.4 seconds before the swing connects to you. Which means that Forgotten Gladius would connect at around 300 milliseconds or so. I don't know, I'm not that good at math. And the average human reaction time is around 230 milliseconds, and if you add the average amount of ping people get in like California, Illinois servers, you know, the NA servers, which is 100 milliseconds, it would add up to 330 milliseconds for you to react to a swing. And if you know how to do simple math, you'll see that 300 milliseconds is less than 330 milliseconds. So you would have to be below 70 like millisecond ping to be able to parry on time, which means you probably have to live where the server is. And if you don't have that good of ping, you're going to be forced to predict parry. And by that I mean just anticipate the swing coming before they even swing. There is a 0% chance that if you've been to any guild wars in Deep Woken, that you haven't seen at least one Forgotten Gladius use Shadow or Tomb of this. Last Dancer Raps or like something similar, and Black Diver or Prophet's Cloak running around. If you find someone like that, you can probably assume they take this game pretty competitively. And if you find them during an active guild war and you're like low level from spawning in from Etrus, best that you run away because when they spot you, they might just see you as a health pack. This is the gimmick weapon of medium weapons, like how uh, Just Karita is the gimmick of Fist. The reason this is in the meta is because of how goofy the animations are. Like, the animation, it goes from the ready position, right? To where you're like holding it up, and then snaps into like the swing position. Like, you hold the you hold the up position for like a full second, right? And then you swing. It's very hard to read because uh, there's like no active movement. You can see it's like gauge how much of the swing it is in. It's like really hard to parry, and the only way you can really get used to fighting it is, is just fight it. It's like one of those things that you need experience for. The weapon kind of sucks in every other aspect and is outclassed by other weapons, just except for the animation. So uh, most of the time, if you see this weapon, it's probably going to be like a, in Chimes of Conflict, and you're fighting like a Hives Grinder. People who use this weapon don't tend to take the game seriously. This is probably because of the nature of the weapon being pretty underpowered in every aspect except for the funny grab crit that people always spam. And to be honest, it is pretty funny watching someone try and run away and get grabbed right back. Since medium weapons are like the favorite child of Deep Woken out of all the other weapon types, there's like a lot of medium weapons to cover. 
So I might make a part two to this if you guys, you know, like the whole uh, this part. So yeah, if you have any suggestion for those, leave it in the comments. And uh, other than that, this shit is the end of the video. Uh, there's only the end screen left.